Thank y'all for tuning in with Say God's Wisdom. This is the tarot reading for the solar eclipse on June 21st, 2020. Um, this is a very powerful ancestor karmic eclipse. A lot of feminine energy, memories from the past can be coming up right now. It's very intense. The solar eclipse plus it's a summer solstice plus uh, it's conjunct the North Node. It's very intense. The North Node is at an intense degree, 29 degrees of Gemini. So it's very, very, very intense. Okay. So that's like three portals going on at once. Three activation moments going on at once. Now we got those three. Plus we got like seven planets <laughs> in retrograde. So that's like 10 different things going on all at the same time. It's a lot of shifts happening. So have grace, patience. And non judging right now because it's a very, very intense, sensitive time. Cancer deal with emotional, um, emotional intelligence, um, acting off emotions. Okay, so you really want to have a moment of like, okay, take a pause, let me get my emotional state together, and really focus on making sure you're not fully reacting off emotions, balance it with the intellect, the logic. Okay. <sighs> Let me breathe. Let me center because it's some intense energy coming through with this download for the collective with these cards, the tarot. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Spirit, guys. Angels, ascend your masses, gods, goddesses. Thank you for being with me right now. Give me some beautiful messages and clarity for the collective for this solar eclipse, summer solstice eclipse in Cancer, Spirit. Give me insight. For the collective, three cards here. Inside for the collective. Thank you, angels, ascending masters, archangels. Thank you, 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 The North Node is in the 20 degrees of Gemini. So it deal with um the node is Latin for a uh, knot. So it's like a karmic knot we're trying to unravel, solve, evolve right now in dealing with the inner world because Gemini is the mind, cancer is the emotions, and balancing the emotions because Gemini is before cancer. So it's like really getting our mental balance of how we're feeling. How we are relating to others, how we are teaching others how to treat us. Again, emotional intelligence, cancer energy, emotional safety, being safe, being able to be vulnerable and not be judged. Having that confidence, yellow candle, having that confidence to really um, get your message across. And I'm... Is a hot time so rage in a in an intense again cancel the the crab the claws coming at you, in an intense way but really making people understand and hear you and feel you okay, this is a very powerful feeling time okay, this eclipse is going to trigger a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to be taking a stand. Now the question is, what do you believe in? Who do you believe in? Are you connected to your ancestors? Are you connected to your higher self? Are you connected to God? Do y'all pray? When the last time did you pray? What side of the fence are you on? Okay. Can you even trust what you're feeling? Do you have clear thinking? Gemini. Do you have emotional intelligence cancer? Are you coming from the heart? Are you really reacting off your passion, Leo, or your fears and desires? Okay? We don't want to move off fear. 
That's why this balancing of this Gemini Cancer energy is very, very important. Okay, really having the emotional intelligence and really making sure you're fighting for what is truly right and not just going with the flow or being in the flock. Now you can see nobody, nothing, no, no flock behind her. She's standing alone in her own truth, what she believes in. Okay, this is um, Nine of Swords. They deal with being trapped, being, being, no, it's Nine of Wands. I thought it was, okay, Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords deal with being trapped. Nine of Wands, yeah, they deal with confinement because, you know, all of the cards correlate to one another. But a burden, the Nine of Wands deal with. Burdened by desires, burdened by your passions. It's like I'm picking up. It's like you're tired of suffering. You're tired of dealing with what your ancestors should have got right. It's like why did they, you know, be defeated like that? Why did they didn't fight? Why did they didn't stand up for themselves? But. Yeah, we had some, you know, historian leaders in the past, but it's like, what was it? What really, what energy was really oppressing them, oppressing them? Well, we couldn't really fight and take a stance back then. You know, and that's what we're coming into now, really. Like, enough is enough. We have to evolve this shit, people. You know, we have to be equal. You know, we're, you're not less than me. I'm not less than you. We're all one. we all on the same page. Yeah, it's... You may think, you know, hierarchy or whatever, patriarchy, but it's like in God's eyes, we are all one. But hey, true, really? Are we really one in God's eyes? Because if it was one in God's eyes, we wouldn't be going through this. Think about it. I'm going to let that, I'm going to leave you with that gem on that. Think about it, okay? Okay, Spirit, give me some clarification on Six of Wands. Victory with what spirit? Now, two Wands cause a lot of Wands, a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of being driven off your desires. Okay, Spirit, thank you. Give me one more card for clarity on the uh, world. Completion with what spirit? Completion with what spirit? The collective consciousness for this Cancer Soul Eclipse Spirit. Thank you. Twice I noticed the guy called Ashen came out. Okay, Mother Earth. Okay, oh, the world begins. Justice. Station. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Justice called Spirit. Give me insight on the Justice Core. Okay, two again. Produce the two. I'm going to go ahead and lead it out. Alliance and partnerships. I want that one to be seen too. So, okay. Okay. This is heavy. This is intense. This is very powerful. This is a powerful reading. This is a powerful reading. How y'all doing out there? Y'all don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share my channel, which part of the universe always come back to you. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, you're here for a reason. If you're watching this video, please spread the word. This video might help someone, might save someone's life. You never know. I might say something that really opened their mind to see their shadow side. Okay? So... This energy is of a karmic balancing. This energy is of reaping what's been sold. Again, that's why I talked about shadow side. Really balancing out the light and the dark, the shadow. Coming into the empathy, the cancer energy of, okay, I see you. Because again, Gemini is the duality twins, light and dark. And then coming to cancer, the mother, the child, the inner child. The breast feeding, okay, like that look like two <laughs> breasts, okay, but uh, yeah, it's like feeding the child, but nurturing the ch child, caring for the other side of you, the other part of you again, the duality of Gemini and Cancer, the mother and the child. So, again, it did still with two, so it's like the, it's like we're coming into a full balance of really nurturing, caring, and putting ourselves in the other person's shoes. I see you. I hear you. I feel you. I am with you. 
Okay, that's the energy we got going on right now. This is very powerful. The final outcome is movement choices and decisions under this card, partnerships. So working with people, this is a very powerful, it's again, we're moving the energy is a combination. Our voices will be heard. It's no more pushing us aside, no more shunning us, no more no more leaving us behind. It's, it's all balance, okay? The world card deal with a completion. She have all the elements, all uh, the colors, all of the fixed signs, all the elements, water, fire, air, and earth. And deal with being at the top, the world, the world card is the completion of the journey, completion of the earth, the evolution. I mean, that's why I talked about the different dimensions, the dimensional split and shift in the previous videos, because the earth is going to 5D or anchoring more of the physical. Again, 5D, five dimension, energies on the planet. It been here, they all been here, even higher up energy, but it's now, this energy is about to be for the collective. Everybody's gonna be on that same playing field. That's why it's like a global reset happening. That's why I talked about that in that last video. Make sure you check it out. Thanks. But the six of wands over here, I don't know why they got me going back. But see, I'm paying attention to what Spirit doing. Okay, um, six of wands deals with victory, a public victory, a public completion, justice, public victory, completion of the old. I'm hearing old. It's a lot of circles, a lot of cycles, cycles. You got circles. Circles, the bowls over here, circles, a lot of cycles being completed and dealing with the heart chakra. So you can, some people out there could be having heart palpitations, nervous anxiety, dealing with the anxiousness of the heart, the chakras. Make sure you're balancing your chakras, please. Um, give me if you need some crystals. I'm starting to sell crystals. That's why you see I'm like in a hotel room because I'm picking up my crystals from out of state. Uh, but yeah, this is some very karmic balancing of the light and the dark, of the collective consciousness, of God consciousness, because again, God created this, okay? So who's to blame? God. You never want to blame somebody in the physical outside of you. You want to take it up in the spirit realm. You want to talk to the angels. You want to talk to the archangels and God, okay? You need to ask God why, why? But I'm seeing this had to do with evolution, the test. And you know, Earth Gaia is where they sent. It's called Tartarus in Greek mythology. And this Earth is where they sent the bad of the bad. So Gaia was like the warden of the bad of the bad. You know, it was like a jail cell down here. But we came down, some of the Cinder Masters, the Light Warriors, uh, the, um, what's the word? Light Warriors, uh, Star Seeds, and different things like that came down to um balance his karma to help her out to help Gaia evolve. Well also to balance out your karma too, wherever star system you come from. But again, that's another video, that's another time. But let's get back into this. I'm hearing this trap that was set for the dark or for um the injustice of treating people wrongly or suppressing the black people or the the people of color is over okay it's over this trap this this confinement is over we see you we hear you we are with you the tree the roots that's why this cancer energy again cancer energy the roots the family the bottom of the chart in astrology like who is and what who or what is supporting you the female energy, the mother. And I got all these female cards. Five female cards. Six female cards. But it's like, again, working together to achieve this goal. You can't fight. You can't go against each other. You have to work together. You have to teach Gemini energy. You have to teach other people how to treat you. You have to teach other people like, hey, you know, what are you doing is wrong. You know, you're not supposed to act like this. It's really you is like, again, counsel energy, being their mother to them. You got to teach these white supremacist people like, hey, what are you doing is wrong? When are you going to get it? When are you going to get it? If you don't get it, we're going to fuck this shit up. You can't take it to heaven with you anyway. We're going to destroy this shit. We built it. We're going to take it out. We're going to destroy it. Until you really change the way you think. 
Gemini, Sagittarius energy, change the way you think. Think higher. You know, don't don't treat us like this. Don't treat you like this. Because again, how you treat other people is a reflection of how you're treating yourself. Okay? So you need to make sure, be aware of how you're treating other people. Lead with integrity. Lead with the heart. We like I can say we got like three, four planets in Capricorn right now. So integrity is a big thing for this whole year. Integrity. Integrity, integrity, integrity is the big thing for this whole year of 2020. Of 2020. Okay, let me see any final messages out there. Some people out there are going through um a lot of evolution. I'm seeing money. Some people finances are being evolved. Well, I think all of us are. All our finances are being evolved. But uh it's like the government is really about to um Work some things out in our favor to really bless people with some stable income, especially the entrepreneurs out there. So, like, right now is a good time to get your business plan and start your own business, like, because it's favorable right now. So, it's very, very good um, to get into it. Like I say, if you need some spiritual advice or want me to pull some cards or go deeper into your astrology charts, astrology charts to um, see the outcome of your new endeavor or your new business, just hit me up and... Um, book the appointment the link will be in the description box below with me but um i'm seeing some people can get proposed to with the rings right there there's a lot of choices people are being um seeing where i'm seeing a lot of soulmates a lot of seeing a lot of new friends and i'm seeing with mars go retrograde in aries some old friends coming up venus just re was retrograde so what you learn again like brown the heart venus retrograde evolved the heart especially when she conjunct and combust the sun and mercury she evolved the by the heart chakras so a lot of intent so make sure you're grounding working with crystals uh color um symmetry dealing with the colors because you know when you're working with colors in the conscious mind it helps balance you out too so really working on um Balancing your energy because again, we all connected with the collective, and the collective has a heavy karmic energy on it right now. So, you really want to make sure your mental is straight, your energy is straight because it's everybody is super, super sensitive, and you could be easily absorb other people's energy right now. So, really taking your spiritual baths, really shielding and protecting, really working with your spirit team, your archangels, your guides to really shield and protect you throughout this whole year and even going forward because. Again, you don't want to absorb other people's shit. You got your own stuff going on, you know? So, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for giving me your time, your hearts, your patience. Because I appreciate you. I, I love this platform to be able to help people. And I appreciate everybody that tuned into my videos. I love you. I appreciate you. I am thankful for you. Okay? I am proud of you. I'm proud of you for being here and tuning in and doing that work. Because if you're here watching this video, you are on a higher wavelength. So you are evolving. The angels are working with you. The archangels are working with you. The ascended masters are working with you. The goddesses, gods are working with you. So remember, you are special. You are somebody that is important to God because you're here. You're watching this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be blessed. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and comment.